This video will show you how to edit and view equipment cost details. To find this, go to Field Operations in the upper right corner and then click on Equipment on the left nav. In my example, I have five equipment items. I'm going to focus on this John Deere tractor. And as you can see, I have already entered $15 per acre for my default cost. And I have $27 of actual cost. Now, these numbers here you can actually change by going to the three dots on the far right and going to View Details. Uh, here it gives you a quick summary of the numbers you have in there for ownership cost as well as your default cost up here. And I'm going to choose the Edit button. And once you're in the Edit area, you can make a change just by entering a different value in. And in my example, I have my ownership cost. And let's say I plan on keeping that uh, machine around for 10 years instead of five. Uh, what's really nice about this is that you can recalculate the ownership cost on these machines and it will update all the other reports for you. So uh, these numbers are not set in stone. You can change these at any time you want and it will make all the adjustments on everything else for you. Uh, just remember to hit the save button if you want to hit save and record it. And we'll hit the back arrow to get back where we just were. And as you can see here, if I, again, if I focus on that, uh, that row here, that John Deere tractor, it did change my $20 and my actual cost did update based on the ownership cost. The other cool thing here that you can do is that uh, you can actually click on that row to see the actual cost and what made that up. Or you can click on the three dots and go to view cost details. Uh, this is kind of a drill down for the, uh, the actual cost. So this way you can understand how track and traction is calculating that number for you. And what's nice about this is that you have this filter option up above and you can say, show me all my field records uh, for this machine. And you have the ability to make edits here for any of the field records just by hitting the edit field record button. That takes you right back into here to make any changes you want. I'll go ahead and ignore that. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to operating costs. Again, quite nice if I'm looking at this and wondering where that $560 went to or where it came from. Uh, just click the three dots and go to payment. And that kicks you right into the accounting system where you can make that change. And you can also sort that by ownership cost. And again, take you right back where you just were a few seconds ago if you want to make some more changes to that ownership cost. But this is how you kind of navigate around the equipment area. Uh, you can make all kinds of changes here as you wish. And of course, that will reflect back to the reports.